In this video, we are going to understand the difference between how NPM, YARN and PNPM, this individual package managers work, how is their working mechanism, how they store the packages. PNPM is really awesome when it comes to a managing packages. So we are going to try to understand how it is different from the NPM and YARN, what strategy it uses, which is different from the NPM and YARN. We are going to understand the underneath working mechanism of each of this package manager. Uh, in that way, it will give us idea like uh, what were the problem in the NPM and YARN and uh, because of the different approach that PNPM follows, how we are solving them. I'm going to also show you how you can migrate the existing NPM or YARN project to a PNPM. And uh, at the end, we are going to do some benchmarking. I'll uh, do an installation of some libraries. We are going to see how much time it takes on the uh, each of these individual package managers. And it's just not about the time. We are also going to have a look over the disk space usage. Our goal is to understand like uh, when it comes to a package management, which is the best tool. So let's get started. Before that, if you are new to my channel, I would like to humbly request to subscribe to my channel on this channel i make interesting tutorials about the web development and uh, in general a uh, software engineering and the programming topics so if you like my content then subscribing to my channel is a really good way to support and uh, it motivates me a lot to do a similar kind of videos in the future also how npm and the yarn works so traditionally the way npm used to work is it creates a node modules and the packages in each of the workspace that you have so if you have like uh, n number of workspaces it will create a node modules in each of those workspaces and each of the workspaces will have the dedicated node modules and the packages there uh, and that was a problem because it used to consume a lot of space and uh, it's definitely not a desk efficient uh, that's where yarn came up with this idea where it maintains only one place it maintains the package only at one place which will be at a root level and if you have multiple workspaces using that then it will basically copy that and uh, we'll put it there so as you can see like i have the in this image workspace a has the node modules and the workspace b has a node modules which was a problem with the uh, npm and uh, that's where with a yarn what you can do is like uh, you will have only one node modules at a library root level and uh, the workspace a will refer to the uh, node modules of the root and the workspace b will also refer to the node modules which are basically in the root level and that's where installation of library was too fast but this is not uh, even a good approach if you see that we though we have a uh, node modules as a root level so for example if i have a react dependency which is there in the workspace a and the workspace b also it would copy the same dependency into both of these workspaces from the root so that means i have the two instances of react package in the both workspaces and uh, this is again definitely not a uh, too memory efficient pnpm came with this idea of the uh, symbolic links so pnpm uses this principle of symbolic link and the way it works is uh, if you have one file or uh, one set of files or a directory that is being used by a multiple processor it maintains that file or that directory at only one place like you will have only one physical copy of that uh, file but if it's being referred from the multiple places it will have a virtual links that will point to the physical address where that file is present so pnpm has leveraged this great idea and uh, this is where it managed to save a space so we are going to do an installation of pnpm and it's really easy you just have to come to a pnpm i installation you will find the steps so i'm going to do it for the mac so let's try that so let me open my terminal and i'll put the command curl and uh, this is basically a script that installed the uh, pnpm and let's see how much time it takes and i think it did the installation successfully and in order to verify if it's successfully installed you can just do pnpm and uh, this will give you version and all that detail now we are going to see how much time it takes for each of the package manager to install the stuff so we are going to just install one library so uh, I'm in the yarn so let's do it with the yarn first and I'll put time yarn add and uh, let's add express so it took like 0.43 seconds let's do the same thing with the pnpm so again I'll put a time pnpm yarn express pnpm install was completed in 0.13 seconds now let's see the uh, file structure folder structure what we got here so as you can see in the yarn we have a whole list of all the modules that are present at the same level so why we have the multiple files that is basically for the reason we install the express and express has a dependency on all of these other packages that's why it installed that and put it there in the 
similar uh, level and that is a problem actually if you have multiple workspaces and uh, in each of the workspaces you install the express uh, all of the express is going to create the multiple copies of this folder and you will unnecessarily maintain then the multiple instances of that directories and the folder ultimately consuming so much this place now what is the difference this is the interesting thing in the pnpm if i see in the pnpm node model, i just got dot pnpm and the express so i just got the express library and whatever dependencies express has on other packages that are put together that are clubbed together here in the dot pnpm and uh, as you can see there is the link for this symbolic link as you can see over here it says that a symbolic link express uses the symbolic link the dependency that it has on the other packages that it will find uh, icon over here that basically means that express is using the symbolic link for the dependencies and for the other files that it depends on so this is really memory efficient and uh, now going forward and going forward if i'm going to have the multiple workspaces or the nested project that all going to use the symbolic link so in this way you end up saving too much space so this is where pnpm is really performant now let's do the migration of existing project from npm to pnpm so i had the shopping cart website that i created some time back and uh, i have the source code of it open so i'll simply grab a terminal and uh, uh, we'll go to the angular payment gateway we'll go to the front end directory and uh, just to show you that this is the project which is created in the npm as you can see i have the package.log.json the packages and that's it so if i have to migrate the things from the npm to pnpm so i'll simply do a p npm import and this will basically take care of adding all the dependencies and uh, uh, it will basically uh, remove the unnecessary files the extra files if you have in your project and will basically do a migration to a pnpm and as a result of this file you can see i have the pnpm.log file generated and this file basically specify the exact version that you need to have and in some cases you are going to get this warning which is the 17 deprecated dependencies found so if you get this error don't worry you don't have to worry about it you just do a pnpm install and uh, with this it will basically install the missing packages or the deprecated packages and if you get a warning like there are some packages missing you don't have to worry about it you will just do a pnpm install and it will download that so that's how easy it is if you have to migrate from the existing npm or the yarn project you just do a pnpm import and uh, that will do uh, your job very quickly so now on the same project we are going to see how much time it takes to download the packages so we'll do the time pnpm install as you can see i don't have any node modules here uh, i have removed that and i have the pnpm and the uh, just npm to zsh tab open so i'll uh, do an uh, installation of libraries using the uh, uh, pnpm first and uh, we'll see how much time it takes so i have put the time over here so if i do time pnpm install it created the node modules and that's downloading them and uh, let's see how much time it takes and it took like 4.99 seconds uh, now let me remove the uh, node modules and uh, and uh, now let's see how much time it takes with uh, our traditional npm so i'll do time npm install and it started downloading the node modules uh, it's still downloading it's taking its time fetching the data from registry wow and uh, it took like uh, 15 seconds for me to download the files from the internet from the uh, npm registry and to and to put it there in the node modules while in case of the pnpm it was just 4.99 seconds so you can clearly see a difference how fast pnpm is when it comes to a downloading packages and maintaining them and again in the node modules, as you can see that everything is maintained in the root level in case of the npm which is actually not a memory efficient way so this is what i am trying to convey like in this regards where npm stores all the files in individual node mode all the files in each of the workspaces 
and yarn also like has some optimization but that still not solves the entire problem but pnpm uses this awesome concept of the symbolic links where it maintains the not just a single package but the subsequent dependencies of that package also into a pnpm store and that's why it manages to perform really fast so i think that is a really good reason that's an appealing reason for you to switch to a pnpm now we are going to look into the actual real-time benchmark so i'm here on the pnpm.io benchmarks uh, these are the benchmarks from the uh, uh, pnpm and uh, they have basically compared with a uh, different uh, cases in a different cases like if you do it on the cache with the cache with a log file or uh, with the node modules then uh, how much time it took and uh, you can clearly see that uh, pnpm is performing really good when it comes to a uh, time and also when it comes to our uh, disk usage so clean install on the uh, npm as you can see that it takes a hell lot of time that is a bit faster on the yarn and uh, yeah on the pnpm it's better you can mix the yarn and the pnp together to get a more better results that is also possible what they are trying to indicate over here and uh, there are like different scenarios that they have tried with a cache with a log file uh, with just a log file with a cache with a node modules like that and each of the cases it performs and I think when it comes to uh, managing a uh, large projects which has uh, multiple sub projects or the multiple packages inside it then uh, pmpm is a really good choice and uh, you should consider to migrate to a pmpm and uh, it doesn't broke anything on the existing project you can safely do that um, and has all the benefits if you have any further question on this topic then use the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to help you with that thank you for watching and have a great time Bye bye